this is Steve Sanson and Jim Jonas with a special episode of Veterans in Politics. Today we want to discuss why people seek us out, want to come on our show, and then back down like the coward they are. Um, Wait, you're not allowed to call him a coward. He, he told me that. Oh. You know, he sets the rules. Like, we don't pay for the show or anything like that. Like, he sets the he rules. He sets the rules. Who are we talking yeah. about again? Mel Grimes. Oh, Melvin Grimes, that <laughs> Melvin. Greasy, greasy lawyer. Yeah. So, anyway, so the story goes. In fact, folks, we have emails to prove this. Um, Veterans in Politics has been court observing the family courthouse and the RJC, and um, especially the, the family courthouse over there in Pecos and Bonanza. And uh, we had a, got a phone call from a, a gentleman, Army veteran, named Burke Hall, who says, hey, uh, Judge Pomerantz um, is violating my constitutional rights. Could you sit in and, and observe and, and just to make sure that what I'm saying is, is, is true? So we did that. We observed and um, we pulled a bunch of his uh, videos and, and watched them and read a lot of the briefings and found out that, yes, uh, Judge Sandra Pomerantz was violating Burke Hall's constitutional right, um, right to provide evidence, right to um, defend oneself because Burke Hall was representing himself in family court for custody of his child. His two remaining sons. Um, the first son was, uh, was, um, was uh, he died, God bless his soul, Israel. The first son died in a hot tub uh, at, the, at the family's community pool. Um, the mother was in negligent, Vanessa Loftus, she was negligent and uh, she took a plea deal and the plea deal was that um, she goes on probation for five years. While she was on probation for five years she became a felon because that was the plea deal, negligent homicide that did bodily harm and caused the death of a child and, uh, and, uh, and while she was you know she's a felon and she end up living with another known felon which is against Nevada revised statutes or state laws so we got all this evidence against um, Vanessa Loftus so we, we, we you know we sided with Burke Hall we figured that he should at least have visitation of his children and custody of his children well out of the blue this attorney Melvin Grimes who is part of a group called the NCW Act. They're, they're not even registered as a corporation with the Secretary of State. They are just a PAC. They don't even pay fees. They don't even pay fees. They're just a PAC. Anyways, um, Melvin Grimes saw that we were helping out um, Burke Hall and Melvin Grimes decided to help the, the mom who was pro se, Vanessa Loftus, um, help her out and become her counsel of record. Why? Because we were helping out Burke Hall. That was the only reason! Yeah. So he's gonna help her out for free of charge. So Burke Hall comes on our show, been on our show twice before, it comes a few weeks ago, and uh, he was saying all kinds of stuff about Melvin Grimes and, and Judge Pomerantz and um, the ex-felons boyfriend slash husband we don't know what what he is to her and um, Mel Grimes saw the program and decided to go on the NCW uh, Facebook and says that hey I've been trying to reach out to Steve Sanson and Jim Jonas for two years and they don't want me on their show and all I hear is crickets so we had um, Robert Madoff reach out to Melvin Grimes and we had Matthew Phillips reach out to Melvin Grimes and say hey veterans in politics are going to take you up on your offer and uh, for you to come on the show to air whatever grievance you might have. So behind the scenes a lawyer who knows Melvin Grimes came to me and says, I'll bet you a hundred dollars that Melvin Grimes comes on your show. And I said to this lawyer, who I'm gonna remain nameless, that way he can feed me more information, 
I'll bet you $150 that Melvin Grimes will find every excuse possible, every excuse possible not to come on the show. He will want to make the show his. He will try to try to make it look, try to got you on me or Jim. He would he would put up all these doggone rules and stuff to get veterans in politics not to have them on or to excuse the fact that 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 uh, give them excuse not to come on the show. You know why Melvin Grimes would do that? Because Melvin Grimes is a mouthpiece, like a lot of lawyers. They're just a mouthpiece. All bark, no bite. Okay? So Melvin Grimes, we wanted to have him come on the show. Matter of fact, it was today at 3 o'clock. And Melvin Grimes even went one out. He, he sent me this voicemail message. I'm going to play it for you. Mr. Stanton, the attorney Melvin Grimes, I represent Vanessa Loftus. Hey, on your uh, Facebook page, you're using Vanessa's law, uh, likeness. She is not a public entity. Please remove it. Um, you don't have her permission to be using it. On your web page, you have uh, Bert Hall's story. Um, Steve, it's a blatant lie. Um, I, I can show you the information. I have offered to show you the information to show that Burke is lying to you. I don't understand why you don't want to hear the truth. My office number seven zero two four uh, seven zero. So apparently, number one, uh, Melvin Grimes doesn't even know his own office number. But anyways, um, he's talking about the likeness that we use of Vanessa Loftus. The likeness we use was taken by um, somebody with their own camera. Matter of fact, Melvin Grimes, would you rather me use that likeness or should I use the likeness that Metro had when they arrested her for negligent homicide and the death of her two-year-old child? Because I could put in a, a Freedom of Information Act and get that mugshot and use that instead. How about that? She doesn't own the likeness, doofus. What do you think, I'm stupid? You damn lawyers always try to scare people. Well, I'm that one dude that's hard to scare. You can't send me a duh. Man, you made me sick. Because you're the type of lawyer that I'm telling people to run from. Just try to scare people. You, you, Jim, go ahead, take over, man. <laughs> All right. Okay, so after uh, the Burke Hall interview, I honestly, until this day that we did the Burke Hall interview, I have never met Melvin Grimes. I have no idea who this guy is. So we get done with our interview with Burke Hall, and instantly, I didn't even get out the door before I got a Facebook request to add Melvin Grimes as a friend. I'm like, well, okay, so first off, I don't just randomly add anybody. I go onto his Facebook page and I try to see who's mutual friends. And there was part of me that didn't want to add him, but then I was like, yeah, wait a minute, you know, uh, let's go ahead and add him. So I added him. He started uh, sending me messages on Facebook uh, Messenger stating that everything that Burke Hall said was an exact lie and. Uh, are you and Sanson actually willing to hear the truth? And I said, well, not at this time. I had no idea that Steve and Melvin had ever had a conversation before or even knew each other. So I was like, well, if you have evidence that you can bring in and provide that disputes what Burke Hall said, yeah, obviously we're interested in that. Come on the show, call Sanson set up a time, come on the show, provide your evidence, we'll ask you questions, you answer them, and like if that's the way, that's the way we do things. And he said, well, Santa blocks me, he doesn't want to hear the truth. I was like, okay, that's the last I heard from him. Then all of a sudden yesterday, Robert Madoff calls me and says, hey, he wants you to call his office and discuss ground rules. Okay, well, first off, he's accusing Steve and I of harassing him. 
So I'm going to call his place of employment. Of course I'm not going to do that. That's just more evidence that I'm supposedly harassing this guy. So we go back and forth on Facebook Messenger and I'm like, look, there are no ground rules. We don't set ground rules on our show. Steve and I have always said the show is not scripted. Before we came in today, I didn't even know what Steve was going to say. Steve doesn't know what I'm going to say. We give you an opportunity to come on and uh, answer questions that we ask. Well, he wanted to ask us a list of questions, and I was like, well, that's not the way it works. It's our show. We're interviewing you. You're not interviewing us. Well, of course, you know, Melvin, if you want to kick in some money to pay for that interview, well, okay, maybe we'll do that. Every guest that comes on this show gives us our cell number and calls Steve or myself. And the reason why we do that is to make sure that they're actually going to show up. Steve and I are both very busy, got a lot of stuff going on. We don't have time to wait and hope that somebody's going to show up. So we verify that your appearance through your cell number and we talk about it. Mel Grimes didn't want to give his cell number. So for that, and then he said, if I, we're not going to give him the list of questions, then it's not a journalistic interview. Well, that, that's coming from a school teacher. By the way, Mel yeah. Grimes used to be a school teacher for 20 years before he became a lawyer. So <laughs> first off, I have never, ever said on this show or in private to anybody that I'm a journalist. The only people activists is what I use. Yeah, the only people that the American, uh, the only profession that the American people trust less than Congress are journalists. So what we're trying to do is get information out to you that's not being covered by so-called so journalists. It's the whole point of the show. So Mel Grimes, I. I don't get it. Like, if you really truly have evidence and you were man enough, you'd come in, we'd ask you questions, you'd answer them. You're more than welcome to come on, but uh, you're not going to give us a list of questions. You're not going to set the topic. It's our show. We pay for it. And I think he's an idiot. Anyways, to add, um, there's a meme out there and it reads this. Too many, and this is, I'm just going to read it. Too many good parents lose custody due to minor missteps like negligent homicide. If you are responsible for your child's death, I'll get you full custody of your descendant siblings with payment plans starting at zero down and $100 per month by Mel Greasy Grimes. Hey Mel, check it out. You only represented Vanessa Loftus because you just don't like me. So maybe I should just go and get a whole bunch of folks and befriend them that have litigation and family courts so you can represent the other side. Maybe I'll play some reverse, reverse psychology on your dumb ass. Why don't you go back to the bottle and take your psychedelic drugs or whatever you do because you cannot be sane doing this. Either, either you, 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 either in my opinion now, my opinion, either you're drunk, or you're on drugs, or you're just plain stupid. What kind of professional lawyer would represent the opposing side because Steve Sanson is friends with the other side and do it free of charge? And then you say you're doing it free of charge. You even send an email, email to Burke Hall saying you're doing it free of charge. And then you try to tell Burke Hall he owes you $16,000 after you take his two remaining live kids and you represent the mother that killed one of the children. You're just a stupid mother. That's what you are, Melvin Grimes. And I'm tired of lawyers like you. And if you ever think about running for judge, boy, oh boy, I'm going to come out blasting. I'm going to come out with a whole bunch of people saying, hey, don't vote for Melvin Grimes because he's just plain old stupid. Or you just bumped your head way too many times. You're just immature. One of the two things. Or maybe you're just scared. You just don't want to come here. You're just saying that, hey, I want to come on the Veterans and Politics talk show to, to set the record straight. And then, where are you, Mel? What did you say? Something about crickets? 
You're a coward, Melvin Grimes, a plain old coward, and you also, mm, you also a piece of shit. That's right, S H I T. I wish we had the Adams Family song theme song to play. It's greasy, grimy girl. That'll be it. This is Veterans of Politics, Steve Sands and Jim Jonas. Hope you had fun with that, Mel. Until next time.